church. Really exciting news, we're opening this week. I know it seems like forever, but with that being said, according to the CDC, we did have to change a few things to make sure it is safe. As you can tell, I have a mask on. We're hoping that you do too when you enter this building. This video is going to show you what to expect, what's going to happen, and how we're going to keep you safe this Sunday. As you can tell, I'm in the back of the building. This is where we're asking all of the members to park. It is so important that you do this to help control flow. We're going to ask the staff to park in the front. This is going to minimize all of the traffic going into one door. Please park in the back. As you walk out of your car, you're going to go to the door. You're going to find someone. Hey, Zach. Hello. Zach is our greeter and he is going to open the door for you when the lobby is empty. Okay, you're good. Now you're here. This is the sign in booth. You're going to see me this Sunday sitting here checking you in. When you come up here, I'm going to ask you a very simple question. Do you have a mask? That's okay. If you have a mask, great, wear it. If you don't, I'm going to take these tongs here and I'm going to hand you a brand new clean mask. We ask you to wear that at all times while you are within this building. Now, I'm gonna ask you a couple other questions. The first one is, hey, did you do the weekly check-in form? awesome you did that online on google so proud of you good job if you didn't no worries you come in here i'm going to give you a paper copy of it just a few questions that you will fill out you'll have a pen here that i will sanitize between each individual once you come in you filled all this out i asked you to review this which is kind of our protection plan for the church I will look and see, okay, I know where you're going to sit. You are going to sit in section three. I will hand you off here to the usher and they will take you to section three. There you go, enjoy church service. As you may have noticed, the chairs look a little strange. They are broken up into sections. That is why we have an usher take you to your spot. Section three, you would find that on this orange sheet. They are everywhere on the sections. Different numbers, that's how you'll know where you are going to sit. This is important that when you are ushered here, you sit here until service. This prevents any contamination. Try to stay in your seat so everyone can stay safe. I know when we join together, we are going to be so excited to see one another. When we get excited, we just wanna share that love by either hugging, shaking each other's hands, or just staying close and talking. But, as we can see, that tends to be a problem if someone is trying to get by. We ask you to stay in your seats to limit traffic, limit just the chance of contamination. So please stay in your seats. We want to make sure everyone feels comfortable. You may have noticed that it looks mighty bare over here. That's because we are stopping refreshments during this time. If you would like to bring your own from home, that's great. But we ask you to clean that up and make sure that you don't bring anything too messy for church service. Upon entering the church, you may have noticed this sign. It says open or occupied for the bathrooms. Even though we do not want you to congregate in this lobby, it's okay if you have to use the restroom. That sign is going to let you know if it's open or if someone is using it. There's also another sign by the altar that will let you know the same thing. When it's opened, feel free to come on and use the restroom. When you come over here to use the restroom, there is a bathroom attendant. The bathroom attendant is going to clean the restrooms between each person, sanitizing all of the places that will be frequently touched. 
This is going to help limit contamination. For your convenience, we have sanitation stations throughout the church. They look like this. They all have this sign, help spread the gospel, not the germs. And they don't require any touching. You just put your hand here and it will splurt out. When you enter church, you may notice a few signs that say closed. This means that these are off limits in order to limit contamination. The nursery is closed during this time. We know that this is hard for little ones, but feel free to bring them, keep them in their seats, and allow them to worship as well. When it's time for communion, you are going to have an usher that comes and escorts you to the altar. They're going to come up to your section and they're going to say, would you like to join us for communion? If you are that person, you will go and you will walk straight to the altar to receive communion. The usher will then proceed to go to the next section. They will say, would you like to join us for communion? That next section will go and wait on the exit. If there was no one at that altar, they could have walked right up to Pastor Chad. Now it is time to go and take communion. Upon taking communion, you will return back to your seat. Remember to stay that six feet distance. Pastor Chad will be behind the altar. He will give you communion, bread, and wine with tongs. They will each be in individual cups. We will have our gluten-free bread and we will have the regular bread. Please make sure to tell Pastor Chad if you would prefer the gluten-free. Rest assured, the church will be cleaned before Bible study and after church. We ask you to stay in your cars before church and before Bible study. We are going to open the building at 8.50 for Bible study and 9.50 for church. This is going to allow us to help with flow and get our volunteers ready. With that being said, if you would like to volunteer, please comment underneath this video. When service ends, and you are ready to leave, the back and the front are both perfectly good exits to do that. If you would like to get together, talk, catch up with that six feet distance, go ahead and use the front. It's covered, it's a perfect place to catch up with friends. But we ask you not to linger in the sanctuary or the lobby because we want people to feel safe. Thank you, church. Well, that's it, church. We are so excited to worship with you this Sunday. Yay! It seems like forever, but it's here. So with that being said, if you have not filled out this waiver online, please do that now. You need to do it weekly. This is so we know that you haven't been contaminated. We know that you have caught up on what's happening in the church. And it helps you reserve that spot. So please, please fill that out right now if you haven't. If you have any questions, please comment below. We would love to answer anything that you have.